hey guys welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial i will show you guys how to fix windows update stuck on installing so you just need to follow me so first of all what you have to do you just need to go to your start menu or search menu type over there services dot msc once you have put this command click on services app over there here on this window under services window you have to find windows update so here it is, just right click over there, go to properties and here you just select startup type automatic. After that click on apply, then ok, now right click on windows update and click on start. Once it is done, close this window. Now here you need to go, go to your start menu once again and click on settings. Click on system from your left side and now on your right side to find troubleshoot. So click over there. Now click on other troubleshooter. Once you have get this screen, click on windows update run button over there. So beside of windows update, you will get run option. So click over there and it will detect the problem and fix it automatically. Now close this window. If still your problem is there, then just go to your start menu or search menu, type over there CMD. Now right click on command prompt, click on run as administrator, click on yes. After that you have to put two command over there. I will give you the command on my video description. So the command is called uh, net stop. This one. So just copy from my video description and paste it over there. It will stop the update service and the net stop bits. The second one. After done. Minimize this window. After stop the services, you just need to go to your my computer or this PC. And after that, go to under C drive. Now you have to go under windows folder. Here it is as you can see. Now go under find over there software distribution. So go under that folder and under software distribution, you have to delete or cut all the files from here, files and folder. So if anything goes wrong, you can directly uh, copy paste that folder and files to here to fix your problem. Okay, so so for now I will delete all the files from here and now close this window. Now go to your CMD once again. Now I have to start these two services. So I will start this one first and then start this one. After done, you just need to restart your PC and after that try to update your Windows. 